Well, does he really have Anybody what it takes to get back to the top? I just don't think he can do it. I have never seen. When you consider Come back. injuries, the game is 20% physical. There is no and doubt. Thousand percent mental talent to be the number that one ben player nice in the country. Down very well this entire season. Well, no, have what it takes? I didn't think he was going to get past his injuries in the beginning, but he but sure has made his way done. back up the way. He's definitely going to have to have the mental toughness to really push and overcome this situation he's facing this year. This is Thought Blocker, your negative inner voice. It's time. It's time to wake up. But what about his test? Hello? What time has it been? <clears throat> Wait. What? You have missed your test. Your teacher, Mr. Noel Passon, just informed me you didn't even make it to class. Oh my god, it's 11 o'clock. So the test you missed, which so happens to be 85% of your grade, is now a zero. Now you have failed, you are in that no pass, no play rule the school follows. But coach. Don't but coach me. You should have thought about this when you were getting a little shut eye last night. I'm so disappointed in you, Ben Nice. about pop. Who is that? Ben? Hey you. Get out of here. <coughs> My name is Eli Hart. I'm your mom's brother. Pop got in a really bad accident, but he's safe, I have him, he's okay. I'm really sorry that we had to meet like this for the first time in a long time and having to deliver this message <sighs> to you. I was supposed to take him to his appointment before my class this morning. Where is he? I have to see him. Ben, I know this is a difficult time for you, and I just want you to know that I'm going to be here for you. And of course, Pop, if he makes it through. What do you mean, if he makes it through? <sighs> well, I meant... He will make it through. I need you. I can't... I can't do this without you, Pop. I have to find a way. I have to find a way to get back on this team. For you. For us. What do you mean, get back on the basketball team? Are you not on the team? I was supposed to take this huge test that weighed so much on my grade. And I... I overslept. Gosh, I knew I shouldn't have. We need to talk. Man, <laughs> look around you. Wouldn't you say this is bad timing? I mean, Pop. I know. It's because of you that all of this is happening right now. I just need you to tell me where you were last night. I had a bad feeling going with you last night. 
been nice. You're under arrest for the murder of How Could You. Are you freaking kidding me right now? You have the right to remain silent. What did you do? Anything you have I'm to sorry. Say. Why are you, you doing this to me? To Stop. Hall? Why are you doing this to me? Noah! Noah! I'm... Sorry. First and foremost, although there are some parts of this story that has actually happened, this whole web series is completely for your entertainment, as well as your education. Now that I put that out there. Wow! Oh my goodness! What an ending to a season. There are so many holes, so many unanswered questions. Like, what's going to happen to Ben Nice? What we just witnessed is everything coming down on Ben Nice. I don't care what anybody says. His journey has definitely changed. In what way? Man, I don't know. But hopefully we'll see. Huh? Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. I'm waiting on the creator and the producer to come to an agreement on some things. Like Ben Nice wants more money. Thought Blocker refuses to come back unless he's the star of the show. Sure you're right, right, right? You know, things like that. But the message I want to share with you today starts with this quote by George A. Custer. He said, it's not how many times you get knocked down that counts. It's how many times you get back up. What we all can agree on is that Ben Nice's life has been flipped upside down. If you think about it, decision after decision, there has been some kind of bad result for him. The thing is, we are going to make a bad decision from time to time. Some of us more than others. Thinking back, one of the biggest things I wish I could have done, especially at a young age, look at my mistakes and bad decisions with a learning mind. What the heck does that mean? In other words, what I mean is to not allow a bad decision to walk itself back in line with all my other decisions just to wait its turn to pop up to show its face again back in my life. That's what you call not learning from your mistakes. And if you're not learning from your mistakes, it means it'll come back again. Chances are, it'll be back and you'll make that same bad decision again, again, and again. Now, I'm not talking about the real big decisions that hit you so hard that you know you won't make that decision again. I'm talking about the ones that sneak in your journey unnoticed because we didn't take the time to pay attention to it. For example, UNC TV Science said an adult will make an average of 35,000 decisions a day. Now, as a middle school and a high school athlete, I could imagine that you are at least half of that, which means you are making thousands and thousands of decisions a day yourself. To look at every decision would be crazy to do. But what I suggest is that you look at the big decisions that you've made in the past, or look at a big decision that you have to make now. I believe that there are a lot of itty bitty decisions that make up the big one. So let's begin and say you start by picking a big decision you had recently. Next, think about the little decisions that you made during that time that played a role in you making the big decision. Let me give you a simple example of what I mean. It's five seconds left in the championship game and we're down one. Here we go again with his five second game analogies. The best player on their team is guarding me, and I'm guarding the best player. This guy can do it all. He can run, shoot, pass, dribble, make plays, plays hard with his heart. During the game, I kept making little decisions to keep going under the screen. He hits three threes in a row. Bang, bang, bang. The result, it built his confidence. Now on the other side, every time we would have the ball and I was open, I would shoot threes, not even making him play defense. The result of my decisions, he was able to save his energy to use on the offensive side. What's interesting is, when we would go on a fast break, guess what? He would end up fouling us every time we would go to the basket. Result, he had four fouls. Now that you know what was going on during the game, let's fast forward to the last five seconds. 
there's going to be a big decision made. Let's not forget the championship is on the line. There are still five seconds and I have the ball. My center is on the top of the key ready to set a screen. What do I do? Do I use a screen to force a switch so it's me versus a big guy? Or do I go straight to the basket making the best player on the team? Which so happens to be killing you. What? Anyway, do I go straight to the basket with the best player on the team guarding me with four fouls? Like I said, there's a big decision here. With me knowing he has four fouls, I face my defender and I go straight to the basket. And you know what? He did exactly what he was doing all game. He fouled. I go to the line, make two quick ones. Bang, bang! Game over, we win the championship. That's a horrible story. You know good and well that's not how it went. Shut up, it's my story. Here's what it comes down to. The more that I look at the little decisions that lead to the big decision will help me in the future to make better little decisions, which in turn will help me in the future to make better, bigger decisions. You can do this with any sport and especially in your life. Try this exercise and see if you have the mindset to make this a habit. If you want more, I have created a free mini course called The 12 Powerfully Fast Secrets to Improve in Your Mental Training. This course is designed to give you a basic understanding of how mental training works. Now, if you struggle with your game and is ready to get serious, those classes, you guys should be saying this with me by now, are nothing like you've ever experienced before. You can find the links to those classes in the description below. My name is Garrett Richardson and I'm the founder of HoopClick.com and HoopClick Academy. I wanna thank you from the bottom of my heart for taking the time to watch season one of NICE, A Journey to Greatness. I will tell you I am super excited and anxious to see what season two is going to be about. If you are just as excited and anxious as I am, please write a comment below and tell me what you think about this entire episode as well as this entire season. And if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, share, like, and of course, comment below. The final decision if there will be a season two of nice will be posted on all of hoopclick.com's social media channels. So please go follow and stay tuned. Stay safe, keep working, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the near future. Take care.